In the last video we was learning how to make text flow from one text box to another and we just pasted that in and let's have a look and see what we can do further with it by putting in some audio into our book. Let's we put some sound in there so let's start recording. So I've pressed record on that there and it's been recorded by the microphone so let's stop this recording now and do we want to use that recording? Yes we can. Now it would have been nice to have some sort of way of saying well, maybe I'd like to hear what it sounds like first and see if I want to use it or not. But you don't get that option. So Now it's a bit difficult to make any text flow around anything here. So if I want to have a bit of text to the right of where this little uh, icon is for the sound, I can't do that. And not unless I put in some text like this. So let's put that there. So there's my text over there. I can bring that and put it in here, look. And uh, basically what I could do is I could put some extra text to fit in so that it goes down to the bottom of this where the icon is for the sound and then what I need to do then is to do another one of these in there so again I'm having to do some messing around to get it to um, size up and be ready so I can fit it in there and again I've got the problem of working out exactly how I can get it to fit in there so it's too big a piece of text to fit in there and as you can see I, the only thing I can do is I can basically just put it in there in the space where I think it's going to have to go which I think is about there I get a size there, so I can see the width is there, it's 380. So if I move this button here, I can see the width is going to be, let's have it at 400. And then I can take this one here and I can put this one at 400 as well. So once I've got the 400 set up on that there, I can put this into place. Okay, so now what I need to do is say, well, okay, well, how far, are the, how much of this text do I want? And so basically what I have to do is from where it says this is because, I have to chop that text out and put it in over the next page. And really this way of working is, is not great because you're having to work on each page at a time. It's a little bit messy with the way the text works. But I mean for small books, for books that are mainly photographs and with just a little bit of text, you know, some titles and things like that, this would be quite good. So if you want to add a new page, just click on this little arrow on the right hand side. So there's our new page. And once again, you can do whatever you want to do with it there. You can take stuff in there from the... Uh, camera roll and do what you need to do. Temple run, what a good game that is. Okay, so let's export this out and we've got a few options there. We can click on uh, open iBooks directly. So let's give it a try and see how it works out. Well, that's a good move. We've got the bookshelf there, that's a good start. And our new book. So let's just go back to the library again. We can see that we've got the uh, front cover looking okay. We've got the uh, text on there and the picture underneath it. So let's click on the book to open it up. And we can start flicking through the pages. And it's all right, isn't it? As you said, I didn't finish off that bit there with the text. And what I can do as well is I can now sort of press on this button here for the uh, sound. Internal one, but this is going to work and give us a recording. It's not a bad little book, really, but I wouldn't want to do a big book with this, okay? So there you go. Putting pages in really easily, and somehow or other managed to uh, miss out uh, one of my pages there. Okay, so let's go back into Book Create and see what happened there. Okay, so here we are in the uh, application again. So click on that there. And I can say, well, let's do some editing. Well, that there can be removed. We don't need that. And we can click on Done. So that is just spot on, isn't it? Let's go back through this here. There's pages 2 and 3 of 5. And there's our front cover. This is Dave Allen for No Stylus. Digital Bookmaster and for Mac 20 questions. Talk to you again soon. Thanks for watching the video and why don't you check out the other videos? Here's two of them. There's one video there and one video there that you can click on and go and have a look at now. And don't forget that you can also subscribe. Talk to you again soon. Bye bye now.